kids, it's Teacher Teacher here. Let's talk silly science. I'm so glad you're here with me today so we can talk about noise and musical notes and, and running water and talking and stomping and, and, and all of that kind of stuff. Wait a minute, what do all those things have in common? That's right, they all are sounds. Did you know that that's what we're gonna talk about today? We're talking about sound, absolutely. Now, sound is everywhere. Like I said, when, you, when cars pass by, you hear sound. When you have music, musical instruments make sound. There's sound everywhere you go. It's almost everything can create some kind of sound. But did you know that sound is a special kind of energy? So what's energy, teacher, teacher? Energy is the way that something moves, the, the movement that they make, it's the way that they work. That's what energy is. And so sound is one of those kind of things. Sound travels through the air, through things called, mm, something called vibrations. Have you ever heard of that word before? Yes. Vibrations are sound waves. That's how the sound actually hits your ear. It's something like dominoes. Every time it hits one of the dominoes, all of them fall, right? So that's the way sound is. It's like a wave that keeps waving until the sound gets into your ear. Have you ever been to a football game or a baseball game or basketball game and then everybody in there does the wave? So it's something like this, I guess, all right? It's teacher, teacher. Am I getting down? Oh, okay, I know, I may not be. Well, this will probably be a better demonstration. This is what I call a thunder drum. And this is going to show us, so you might want to hold your ears because it gets loud, that the faster uh, that the, the sound waves move, the louder that the noise is. So watch this when I do this. You see how fast that, that, is, that coil is moving? You see? That's a loud sound, but what happens when I make a very low sound? It doesn't move as fast, right? So this is the way those sound waves move until they get to your ear. That's right. And so that's a pretty good demonstration, right? Like bumper cars, that's what I like to, because there's little bitty molecules in the, in the air that you can't even see. And those molecules are what keeps hitting each other until they get into your ear and you can hear that sound, right? So I want you to do something for me. I want you to use this sim simple just demonstration all I have is a cup, and you can use any cup, a styrofoam cup, a plastic cup, a cup you have at home, and any rubber band, right? So then put it around this cup, and then pull the rubber band, and then you can actually see those vibrations. But some of the vibrations, they really move so fast that you can't see them with your eye, but you can hear it, and you can see it. You hear that? And, the, and it's, it's vibrating. You can see that vibration. So that's just one activity that'll show you what, how sound vibrations work, right? So I want you, though, to go to our website, pbslearningmedia.org, and I want you to find more activities that are on um, sound waves and, and sound so that you can do it, parents. So make sure that you, you do that. Just keep experimenting with sound. Just, just do lots of different things. And I want you, as you experiment with the sound, I want you to send it to me at wknoteacherteacher.com, okay? So that I can see what you're doing out there and I can know that you're really getting it, yes. And I might even put it on our website or I know that I'll respond to you directly. Yes, me, teacher, teacher, will send you an email. Yes, I will. All right, thank you so much. But remember, parents, go to pbslearningmedia.org. And until next time, teacher, teacher says, bye-bye.